Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we are back with another graphic design concept. We're gonna create out this amazing neon sign effect in Adobe Photoshop using very simple techniques. In the previous video, we have seen how you can create some line light glow text effect using various attributes in layer style panel. And we have created out these two amazing designs. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can create a nice neon text. We'll also apply it to a vector art and we'll customize the colors as well. And now in this technique, we're going to use two options which plays a very important role. The first one is uh, contract selection and the second one is expand selection. Uh, we're going to use these two options and create out these amazing two designs. So let's begin with the designing process. So the first thing we're going to do is to open a new Photoshop document. I have already opened my Photoshop document. Uh, the dimension I have used is a file new and you can go to new document and set the dimension to 1000 by 1000 and set the resolution to 72 and create a document and that's all. I have created that document in 72 resolution. Now uh, to create this design uh, if you check over here in this this is my design layer and this is the layer I'm going to work on. So under design layer you see that uh, I have got few groups. So the first group is text. So I have given uh, some nice uh, glow effect to it. Uh, and it's in a little magenta color. Then uh, I have divided this background in different groups. So this one is uh, for that boom uh, vector. Then these are other like a uh, lighting effect. And given some different uh, uh, color using the hue and saturation option. And later I have added some little bit of backdrop light and uh, fill light. And here if you see I have added a background wall which is a brick wall. And it was um, different color. I have used color overlay and given that color to match it with the design. So to begin with this design, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a background color. So in this layer, I'm going to add a new layer and let's fill this up with some dark blue color. So let's pick a color from here and I'm going to choose some dark blue from the color picker and alt backspace. So that's all. Let's start with a plain color. Now uh, let's type our text. So select text W-O-W-O. -W -W -W. So here's a text and I'm going to scale this up from our control T and just scale it up around like that okay so text is there and enter and uh, the font I have used is uh, Avenue next which a heavy italic version and uh, let's uh, do some adjustment with the spacing so with the text to select it T click over here and if you want to reduce the spacing use the uh, arrow keys with the all press so with the all press with the arrow keys, you can give more spacing or you can reduce the spacing between O and W. So I think I want to reduce it to a little bit something like this. Over here as well, I want to reduce the spacing a little bit more. And here we go. Now let's uh, rotate this. So command control T and I'm going to give a rotation, a little bit of angular rotation, something like this. And uh, right click and I'm going to skew it to give some perspective, a uh, little bit of twist, like this, something like that. And press enter. And here we go, the text is now ready. Now the first step we're gonna do is to make a selection. So with the control press, with the command or control press, click on the thumbnail of this text and this will make a selection. And now we'll save this selection because we're gonna use it later on. So go to select, save selection and give it a name, T-E-X-T -E text, enter. Okay, and if you want to check out where it's saved, you can go to channels here and you see here's the text, right? So under here, this is the text. Now we'll convert this into rasterized layer. So I'm going to go to layer, uh, rasterize type. This is, will be rasterized. Now let's, uh, you want to give this little bit of outline thickness, right? So you know, go to select modify and here we go here's the option we're going to use the first one is contract and then expand so these two are the options which are going to help you to create this design so i'm going to use contract and here uh let's apply some thickness let's say five pixel for my design i'm going to use five pixel according to 72 resolution if your file size is bigger the values may differ so if you are uh, having the same settings same resolution as mine you can use the same values so i'm using five pixel and click ok and that will give me this much of thickness now i'm going to click on delete and here we go we got a nice outline text here next we're going to bring in the 
uh, vector art so I have already downloaded the vector art and if you want to find it you can just go to uh, Google and just type boom and here under vector you will uh, got a list of vector shapes something like this so I have downloaded one of it so here it is I'm gonna just drag and drop it there so click drag drop and enter now uh, let's remove the background so with the selection tool select the background delete okay before that convert this into rasterized layer so right click um, you can just right click and the rasterize layer or you can go to layer rasterize smart object and this will convert to rasterize layer now if I delete it the background is removed command D and now uh, with the command or control press I'm gonna click on this thumbnail to make a selection right and um, before that command control T let's come on control T and I'll just reduce the size a little bit okay and enter and eraser I'll just erase out some borders maybe there are some borders as you can see there are some borders here let's delete out those borders from this image okay now with the command control pressed click on the thumbnail to make a selection then add a new layer and make sure the fill color is white and apply the color alt backspace and here we go now you can delete this layer and we got a nice vector art uh, in simple plain color now let's uh, clean up some uh, stuff here you can see this is extra eraser and just like this layer and erase it out okay and I'm gonna place it somewhere on here okay and let's reduce the opacity a little bit just to see it and let's do some placement so come on control T and we'll do some uh, size adjustments as you can see now we'll place it according to our design and I'm gonna uh, increase the opacity now as you can see here everything is in different color this one is white this is a different color and this is so all this design has to be in different layers so I'll select the selection tool here using the uh, magic wang tool I'll select this and uh, command control X and then add a new layer and command shift V to paste it in the same place I'll do the same for the others I'll just hide this now and selecting this layer I'm gonna select this 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 and this so I have selected all these four shapes and I want to add it in a new layer command or control X and add a new layer and command shift V to paste it in that same place and uh, I think uh, the placement uh, we can do a little bit of adjustment with that command control T and a little bit of movement something a little bit this side and a little bit of down just to make sure it's placed properly and enter do the same for the uh, this one a smaller command control T and let's uh, make it a little bit of we'll move it a little bit more and I'm just doing some modification with the shape as well and I think this looks great and uh, and unhide this one now the next thing we're gonna do is to give this outline shape so it's very simple we're gonna use the contract selection tool so let's do it so I want to select this with the command control press click on the selection uh, before we do that let's uh, save a selection for this because we're gonna use it later on so I'll go over here select save selection let's name it art and enter and here we go and now I can do whatever I want so I'll go to select modify contract and let's uh, give it a little bit of thickness 6 and click OK and then delete here we go come on control D let's do the same for the other shapes as well so I'm gonna select this command press click so let make a selection now go to select modify contract 5 OK delete command D then we'll do the same control selection like this select modify on track click and delete and command D. so here we go we have uh, given the outline design to each of the vector art now as you can see here uh, the word and this vector art is overlapping so what we can do over here is uh, now we'll use that selection so I'm go over here to the channel and here's the text so with the command control press click on this thumbnail get back to our layer and we'll go to select modify and this time we're going to use expand let's give it around 25 and click ok and as you can see it expanded the region here and delete and here we go we got that nice amazing outline and we have deleted out the unwanted shapes 
Now the next thing we're gonna do is to apply the color. So I'm gonna start out with a base color to everyone and then we'll modify it later on. So we'll use blue color as a base. So this one is text. So I'm gonna double click on here. The first thing we're gonna apply is color overlay. So click on that and go over here and choose some light blue, something blue, simple blue color. Okay, and we'll add outer glow, right? And we'll choose dark blue color. So let's choose some dark blue color from here. Okay, and uh, this one set the opacity to 100% and the blend mode to normal. This one, we'll do some adjustments, set it, uh, the opacity to 75%, right? And we'll set the size around, let's say 10% and range to 50 percent okay so that way we have given that nice little bit of glow and we can anytime get back in here and modify it as per our need right now let's give it to 10 and let's click but before that let's add drop shadow as well so on the drop shadow make it black uh distance uh, i'll just hide this out here you can see there it is so you can increase the distance so i'll keep it around something like this or uh, let's say six and the size is the blurriness value so we'll give it our seven and click ok so our first design here is ready so i'll go back again and just check on this and click ok so here it is now i'll create a duplicate of this okay and this time i'll just uh, delete the drop shadow effect so this is the same layer uh, it's uh on top and i'll go to color overlay and uh, auto glow and i'll change the uh, color to something bright okay and we'll increase this to around let's say 100 okay like that and change this to color dodge and as you can see it's it will give you that some a glow effect over there uh, and this one i think overall it's looking great you can increase the opacity as per your needs and click ok now let's add a glow so to do that i uh, will click on the selection right make a selection of these uh, outline uh, text i'll go to select or modify this time i'm going to use contract and let's contract one pixel click and here we go we got a little bit thinner shape add a new layer and we'll fill this up with white color or backspace and command d and as you can see it's added some glow and to make it more uh, convincing we'll change the blend mode to overlay and here we go we got a nice thing over there now we'll do the same thing for uh, the rest of the design so if you want to customize you can customize later on so i'll do the uh, same thing so first of all let's select these three layers and let's group this up come on ctrl g this is text layer right and this one is going to be this one so i'm going to place it on top this one is the base so this then this and this so let's apply it to this so i'm going to create a duplicate of this right and then i'll just open this box and let's apply the same effect to these layers so uh with the all press click and drag and drop it to this layer do the same for the other all press click drag and drop it to the other layer so it's applied over there automatically and the one thing which we are missing is this one the highlighted one so we're going to create that so with the all press with the command control press click on the thumbnail something like that right add a new layer then go to select and modify and contract one pixel and ok and alt backspace command d that's all we'll do the same for the others as well so let's group this up first this 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 to G, uh, this is art one, right? Enter. Uh, I'll create a duplicate of this as well. Drag, drop, create a duplicate. With the all press, click, drag, apply it. With the all press, again, click, drag, and apply to the second layer as well. And it's the same. Make a selection, add a new layer, go to select, modify, contract one pixel, click OK. Alt backspace and apply white color. This time I uh, will change this to blend mode to overlay again. And lastly, the last piece. Let's select these three layers, group it up. So this is R2 and enter. Now we'll do the same. Create a duplicate. Alt press, click, drag, apply it. Alt press, click, drag, apply it. Command or control press, click on thumbnail, selection, add a new layer, select, modify contract one pixel alt backspace command d then overlay 
so here we go we have almost created um, the overall effect to it now the next step we're gonna do is to give uh, this in a uh, different color to each of it so the best thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer to give different color to it so I'll just group this up my control G this is uh, R3 A R D R3 enter so let's apply different color to it so the first is text so I'm gonna add hue and saturation okay and um, let's map it to this only and let's change the color so we'll change it to something something like this yes something similar to that and uh, I'll just increase the intensity of the color something like that and just move around just to get the exact color which you need and I'll go into this group and this one I have changed this to overlay if you change it to screen it will be bright and you can just re reduce the opacity as per your requirement something like that and if you see it's looking great right yes and now let's do the same for the others so for the second one we need white and for that what we can do is we can just go in there yes this is uh, already white I think and let's change this color so I'll go to the each of the layer style panel change the colors to white so click OK this one again go there choose white click OK uh, this one also I'll go in there select the color overlay choose white click OK auto glow as well choose white click OK and we'll do some adjustments here as you can see it's looking a kind of um, something like wet thick so if you increase the values here you can see you can give some nice glow effect around the around it so I'll just reduce the opacity and just play around with the value of the size so I'm just giving it some mist a glow effect in the background and increasing a little bit of whiteness and overall I think it's looking great and click OK yep now let's do the same for the others I just uh, select the R2 add hue and saturation um, clip it to the layer and let's see OK and now for this Let's see which color we're gonna give. Uh, if you change the color to this side here, you get that same color, yellowish greenish tone, something like that. And you can increase the intensity over here. Okay, I think this looks great. And here we go. And if you want to do some adjustments more, you can just go into the effects, outer glow, and just uh, just the values, just to give some glow to it, something like something one five. Okay yes it's looking great now I'll do the same for the last one add and this one it's already blue so what I need to do is I'll just go in there and do some little bit of adjustments with the color so here I'll just increase the uh, size just to give that a glow effect here something like that and let's change it to a little bit of brighter tone okay and outer glow something like that here also I'll go in there and let's play around with the colors something like this so it's basically uh, playing around with the color and the color dodge value something if you want to increase the intensity like that and click OK so overall I have given different color to each of the uh, text and now the next thing we're gonna do is to add that backlight so to add that we already have that we already have the channels so I'll go to channel here make a selection of this vector art so here is the art with the command or control press click on thumbnail here we go I make a selection right there and uh, here I'll go to the bottom layer add a new layer and apply all backspace white color right uh, before that control Z before that we'll go to select select in mask and uh, we'll do some feathering so I'm going to increase the feathering to 100 okay and okay and alt backspace command D and we'll change the blend mode to overlay and this will give you that little bit of uh, brightness in the background next we'll add one more so I'll go to channel make a selection of the art with the command control and the shift press click on text this will add the selection right and we'll get back to layer add a new layer 
we'll go to filter no no we'll go to select select and mask and here it is now uh, set the feather to 50 and the shift uh, edge shift to 40 around 40 or maybe a little bit of lesser let's give it 40 and click ok so here we go now let's fill this up with some amazing color so this one for the center I want pink so I'll choose magenta color so let's choose that and uh, then with the brush apply it around it okay for the white I'm gonna choose white and apply it surrounding it yes and uh, for the yellow I'm gonna pick this color and a little bit of that and I'm just apply it here 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 and here and blue we'll choose some blue color okay and just paint it over there 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 and there so overall i have given uh, almost all the different variations of color that let's deselect it and let's change the blend mode to color dodge and here we go let's reduce the opacity as per your need so i'm just make keep it around 30 percent right and last thing we're gonna do is to add that nice background let's add a nice brick wall in the background so let's bring in our walls and just scale this up okay and enter and now the first thing we're gonna do is to invert this image so with the command control press click i this will invert the image very simple it will remove all the textures just nice details now let's apply layer style so double click on it right and uh, color overlay uh, change the blend mode to multiply and let's choose dark blue color something like that so if you compare it over here you can see dark blue color you can just make a little bit of bluish tone something like that and you can see there's the details you want just move around and you'll be able to see it everything over there and click OK so if you feel like it's this color just leave it like that now we'll add one more layer and just to give this nice depth uh, using the shades so we'll go to gradient uh, choose a gradient color something like this so make sure one side is black one side is transparent and just uh, slide it somewhere something like that and click and drag and add gray stone around surrounding and we'll change this to multiply and reduce the opacity to something something like this and here we go we have completed our first design and the technique we have used is very simple if you want to customize more you can anytime go in there just go over here and let's increase the blur value a little bit something like this okay 15 fine i think it's looking great uh outer glow we can just play around with this okay so overall that's all this is how we can create a nice neon sign effect in photoshop now we're going to use the same technique and create out under design and here is under design and using this design we'll uh, learn more about contract and expand selection in depth so let's create this design now we already know the steps so let's do it directly i'll add a new layer right fill it up with some uh, dark color using this so i'm going to choose some dark brown and apply it all backspace right very simple now uh, type out our text and ow now and uh, let's change the text color to white and we're going to use font so let's uh, choose a font the font i have used a britannic bold let's scale the size and place it somewhere around here now let's create this outline shapes and it's very simple uh, with the command control press click on the thumbnail to make a selection first save the selection so I'll go to select save selection text okay enter uh, to convert this into the rasterized layer so I'll go to layer rasterize type right now I'll go to select uh, modify and contract and this time I'm going to use the same value 5 pixel click delete here we go we got a nice outline there uh, but if you want to increase the thickness a little bit you can just go back control z z z and let's contract six pixels so go modify contract six pixel and click ok to give a little bit of thickness yes something like that now i'm going to contract more so as you can see there are inner thin outlines as well so we'll go select modify contract and this time i'm going to contract around let's say 10 pixel okay let's choose a foreground color 
white hold backspace something like that and now again we'll go to select modify contract 3 pixel okay delete and here we go i think this looks fine now let's um create this other text so let's type out our text and the font for this the font we are going to use is Jaffino font so this is the font i'm going to use you can download it on the web so command control t let's scale it down and i'm going to place it somewhere around here enter so here we go we got a text we got a font everything is ready now let's uh, create this other shape this is a rectangle it's very simple but we, we need this round corners so let's select the uh, rounded rectangular tool set the radius to 30 pixel make sure it's 30 pixel because we want this roundness you can increase or decrease as per your requirement now click and drag and you got a nice rounded corner rectangle now i'll just rotate this command control t and just rotate it to an angle something like this let's reduce the opacity just to see where we are doing it move it down a little bit something like that just make sure space facing is fine it's looking great now enter and i'll just increase the opacity now let's uh, make a selection right i'll select modify contract and this time i'll increase to six pixel and click ok and delete um this is in smart object so i'm going to go to layer and rasterize this shape so and after that if you delete this you got that and command d and you got a nice thick border there and now as here you can see this overlapping so let's solve this problem so first of all i'll go to channel and make a selection of the text command control press click a selection there now i'll get back to layer and make a selection of this open text as well so command shift press click on this and make a selection now we'll go to select modify and expand and this time let's expand it to 25 and click ok and let's see just select this layer right and delete it out command d and let's um delete all these extra unwanted pieces from here just delete delete and just make it clean cut here as well and i think this looks amazing this is the exact design i want now the next step is to apply color to each of the uh text and the vector art so select the text here and let's double click on it open uh, color overlay uh, the color is this normal outer glow should be normal and it should be a little darker color so let's pick a little bit of darker color something like that and set the size to around 10 to 15 something like that and uh, this is 50 add a drop shadow uh, similar to that 100% opacity distance 6 size 7 and click ok we'll add one more duplicate of this layer and this time we'll uh, remove the drop shadow there outer glow We'll go to outer glow and change this to uh, color dodge, right? And uh, we'll change the color to something bright. And let's increase this to 100. Okay. And overlay and something like that. And uh, let's go there and let's reduce the opacity to 75%. Okay. And I'll go here as well and reduce the opacity to 75% something like that so you got that nice glow there now one more thing with your command control press click on this make a selection add a new layer this will be highlight so select modify uh, contract one pixel click ok and apply or backspace white color command D and let's change the blend mode to overlay and here we go we got a nice glow there I will apply the same effect to this um, outline as well so I'm gonna just group this up command G and this is the outline shapes right this is the vector art uh, let's uh, apply the same effect so i'm going to create a duplicate of this right with the all press click drag apply it do the same for the other with the all press click drag and apply it and here we go this is applied now with the command control press click on the thumbnail add a new layer uh, select modify contract one pixel and click ok and all the backspace command d and here we go and let's uh, change the blend mode to overlay now the next step we're gonna do is to change the colors so i'll just group this up this one is text and this one is art and this one we are left with this what i'll do is i'll just create a duplicate of it first right and with your press click drag apply it then second art as well with your press click drag apply it and for this we're gonna change the color now just go in there change it to something yellow okay 
and outer glow will choose something yellow something like that okay do the same for the other as well outer glow will choose dark yellow and uh, color overlay bright yellow and here we go so here it is adjust the colors so i'll just go in there and uh, color overlay i'll just change it color to something yellowish tone and increase the size a little bit just to give that little bit of blurish effect yes and lastly let's add that highlight so with the command control placed click on it make a selection add a new layer uh, select or uh, modify contract one pixel or maybe two pixel enter command and alt backspace apply it command d and here we go now uh, we'll change this to screen and you can even reduce the opacity if you need but i think this looks great let's group this up Control g and now let's apply hue and saturation so go to hue and saturation right and change this to magenta something like that and increase the intensity a little bit and we'll go in there and uh, change this to screen and decrease the opacity something around like that okay let's do the same for the art as well add hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it to the group then uh, double click on it and let's change the color to red and let's go in there and let's uh, increase the outer glow a little bit so increase it something like that yes and okay do the same for the text as well so i'll go there and increase the intensity a little bit 18 or something like that so as you can see there you got that nice glow effect there do the same for the group as well so i'll add hue and saturation adjustment layer and just to unclip it to it and this will give you that soft feel to it you can adjust the colors intensity but i'll leave it like that and here we go now let's add that nice backdrop light so let's do it uh, add a new layer and i'll go to channel make a selection of the text right and the uh, selection of this as well uh, so go into the text with the command shift click on thumbnail and this will make a selection now uh, go to select select and mask we'll give it around 100 feather and click ok and uh, alt backspace and change the blend mode to overlay something like that command d we'll do again so go there select again select then uh, select select and mask here set the feather to 50 and the shift edge to 50 or, or 40 maybe and click ok and this time let's uh, give some color code so here for the magenta color i'm going to choose the magenta color add a new layer and just paint it over it then let's choose yellow color something like that and just paint it over open choose red color as well i want to apply it around here and if you change this blend mode to color dodge you see that effect and just reduce the opacity as per your convenience command d and here we go now last thing we're going to do is to add that background break wall so let's bring in the brick scale up the size invert the image command or control pressed i to invert it now double click to open the layer star panel color overlay and let's change the blend mode to multiply and uh, pick brown color so making a little bit of brighter as you can see the details and just move around with the colors okay i think this looks great now uh, i'll just add a nice uh, sh a shadows around the corners so gradient click drag and here we go we got a nice gradient there change the blend mode to multiply so finally we have completed creating a nice neon sign effect in photoshop we have created these two design using very simple techniques we have used layer style option so we have used two other options contract eye selection and expand selection so using these two options we have created out this amazing neon sign effect using photoshop so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you